And we're back. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner. And we're playing Crusader Kings 2. This is part 71 with King Kanoni the Confessor. And our regent keeps switching. It used to be the Count of Lychee, this douche. And then it was our wife. And then it was our son. And now it's our wife again. So I don't know. I, I Remember, we are completely incapable. So we are completely unaware of why anything is going on. So we're just going to go, I have a wife. Yes, it's, it's your potato, okay? Whatever. Anyway, still kind of curious. When is Mr. King just here going to come back so we can try to murderize him? Because we do have some dollars to attempt the murdering. And the nice thing is, once we kill him then it, we won't have to worry about any more little children popping out. We just have to make sure that he dies. And we're going to get a black stain on our on our little list here, saying we're a murderizer, if we get caught. And we probably will get caught at least once or twice, because uh, we only have a 22% chance of success and a 50% chance of being noticed. He wants a thief. You know, that's just not going to work out because you are going to be king of Denmark. So, yeah. Nope. You know what we'll do, though? We will give him some dollars to make him feel a little better. Yeah, there you go. Give him uh, some honorary titles here. Uh... Master the horse. There you go. Now shut up. What the hell, we gained a title? No, it's not that one. Oh, maybe it is that one. Yeah, we got this barony, Bomporto. Alright, let's give it away. Well, no, we'll hold on to it. Since our wife is our regent, we can hold on to it for now. That's fine. What's up, Holy Rome? Going to war with Holstein. Ooh, you're trying to get this. Since Denmark's got internal shit going on, they're going to try to steal this. Oh, goodness. My king, where has reached me that your court chaplain has accused me of heresy? Well, you are in Modena, and Modena is Waldensian. Or Cathar. So, I'm not surprised. And I'm just going to say, of course you're a heretic, because our chaplain's there. So how could he possibly be wrong? He's our chaplain. You're a heretic. Um, some lady died. Oh, that was our mother-in-law. Well, not our mother-in-law. Our father's second wife, I think? No, first wife. You're courtier. It doesn't say mother. Okay, well, I'm not sure why it's not showing under former wives. Whatever. I wasn't a bastard son, was I? No. I don't know. thought that would be my mother then. Well, hopefully Denmark will finish up his internal shit promptly. 26% is not quite enough to finish it, though. So that means the Holy Roman Empire is probably going to take this chunk of land here. And that sucks. Okay, King got some land in France. Good job. Poor Aftasids. They have so much shit going on. Are you winning that war? Yeah, just barely. Pretty even. The Count of Maine has accepted King Anastasio of Wales' call to arms. Oh, this place, Maine. I knew it was around here somewhere. So he's now part of the Welsh-Scottish excommunication war. And it looks, it looks like it's going very well for Wales. Alright, you got the Pope to like us. Damn, you keep high-fiving that Pope. I'm curious how you're high-fiving the Pope when we're currently in Modena. 
or we currently have you in Modena, but whatever. No complaints. Yep, HRE's gonna take this shit over. You stupid, stupid man. It's a very stupid man. Really? Yep. He's married to our half-sister. Gosh, she's ugly. Ugh. Oh. Are you back home yet? Because I really want to start murdering you before you have any more kids. No, you're in this mood. Which is down there. God damn it, will you hurry up with that damn war? Well, he's, he's making progress. It's 34 now. And yeah, you're about to lose that war to the Holy Roman Empire. Big surprise. Stupid people. Alright. King Anastasio of Wales has won. So I be Yeah, he didn't take any land. But he got some prestige and some points with the Pope for doing that. So, good job. And that should weaken Scotland a little bit. Yep, Scotland's got some internal revolts going on now. No surprise. Finally, a new leader in Sweden. Poor Queen Agrafina. Lived until 74. Goodness. Finally kicked the bucket. What's this? Betrothed can marry. Prince Antonioso of Italy. No, he can't. Because she's in prison. But you're going to keep telling me he can, even though she's in prison. It's not going to happen. She's in prison. Yes, yes, pikes and whatnot. Uh, I would like to focus on some buildings so we can get some more income rolling in. However, we kind of need this money for other purposes at the moment. He's still in Zemgal. God damn it. This war is taking you... There you go, he finished. It's done. He should be back home now. Oh, and he did it before the Holy Roman Empire took Holstein. Nice job. Alright, he's at peace. He is in Jeland. What's our chance for murderizing? 32%. And only a 28% chance of getting uh, discovered. So I think this is our best time to do it. It's going to be $350 per attempt. There we go. Joyous news. King Hafton II died. Not knowing the name of his killer. Make sure the assassins stay silent. Yes, indeed. Now if we look at the banner... We can see who is in line, and Asta is now second in line. Is she still in prison? Probably. Let's take a look. She's still in prison. But she is currently the heir to the kingdom. Asta of Upland. So, let's go ahead and kill the king. No, this is Asta. Wait a minute. Two people with the same name? Oh, don't do this to me, game. I thought for sure. I thought for sure I'd only have to kill like two people because it said Asta, but apparently Asta was the fucking king's wife's name. Shit. Well, you can die too. You're you're in Jaland, right? Yes, so yeah, well. Eighty five percent chance and no chance of being discovered. Okie dokie, she's dead. Next. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... Helena is next, yeah? Yeah, Helena's next, alright. And you are tutored by King Haftan of Denmark in any underscore all. I'm assuming since we haven't unpaused it that that's not going to change, so you can die. Yep. Oh, they divulged my name. Killer. Damn it. Killer. Damn it. Well, there goes all our money. I'll we'll have to wait for some money to come in. We failed three times on her, though. Oh, well. Oh. Three assassins disguised as pages jumped me on my way to my chambers. The guards saved my life, but not before I was stabbed in the side. Oh. So we now have another health penalty. Oh, we're now wounded and incapable. Yeah, we're going to die soon. Wait a minute. 
I'm already bedridden. How could they stab me on my way somewhere? I'm never on my way anywhere. That's odd. Well, she is in Jalen, so when we get some money, we can just try again. Hmm. I thought for sure Asta was next in line. This guy's sister. Apparently not. That is so odd. Hmm. Oh goodness, the Kingdom of Burgundy. I don't think so. Go away. Silly, silly boy. Crusade for Germany. Oh. Oh. -ho. Oh. His Holiness, Pope Adrian the Fourth, is worried about the state of the souls of the Kingdom of Germany. The heathens under Kaiser Guntram I of the Holy Roman Empire have no worse have no hope for salvation and will suffer the eternal fires unless they can be brought unless they can be brought to Christ in this life. Any Christian so willing is offered to complete absolution of sins is offered complete absolution of sins in the armed mission against the Lawler barbarians. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. The only problem is okay, well there's Germany. We have no aspirations for that land. What I would like to see, I would like to see Swabia get it, though. I mean, we'll... I guess we could join. I'm just not going to send any troops. I mean, the, the king is, you know, kind of in a sad state right now. He can't do anything. Yes, yes. See, I thought when it said Asta, I thought that was the Asta that... Our son was engaged to, since it happened to be the king's sister, but apparently that's not the case. The king had no brother. Oh, stupid peasants. When will you learn? Is that enough to shut you up? Probably. Wait, they're not in Savoy. They're here. Ooh. All right, then. Murder them. Kill them all. Leave no one alive. Stupid peasants. Who do they think they are? Guy looks like he's still in his pajamas. Can we get you out of bed, sir? Those are fancy pajamas there. And they're dead. All right. Stand down. Can't believe we blew all our money and that lady's still not even on the list. Well. Oh, she's in Trakai now. So chances of getting her are going to be lower. Where's Trakai? Trakai. No, it's not over there. Where's Trakai? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Trek. Bingo. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Did she finally get out of prison? Oh, it's a matrilineal? Oh, no, we're not going to do that. I don't think so. Ooh, look at this. See, she's offering a matrilineal marriage now that she's out of prison. So this is just absolutely stupid. All right, let's go see. Where is this lady? Oh, she has that thing? Hmm. She is an imbecile, which I thought was kind of cute. I think we're going to break that. Break patrol, though. Yeah, sorry. Just not going to happen. I think what we should do, though, is find out who these people are. Maybe we should just uh, engage this lady. Although she does kind of dislike us after trying to kill her a few times. Oh, all right. We'll try Finland, maybe. Oh, that's going to be a lot of kids to murder, though. Goodness.
Eh, what the hell. Alright. So let's get him married there. And let's start murdering. She's still able to have kids, so... I guess we should kill him first. Send our spy over there. Where is he? He's in Uisima, which is right there. Alright. Go there. How could I have the wrong Asta this whole time? Well, I mean, our king is a freaking idiot right now, so I guess that's understandable. I had the wrong Asta all along. Right, yeah. My son's like, oh yeah, I got me some hot Finnish chick. Is she hot? Not really. Uh, my visit to the court bishop Otto of Constans. Bishop Otto of Constans. Well, you're in the right spot, but you impressed the wrong guy. Oh well. How's the crusade going? Swabia is helping out. Finland is actually in the lead. Ooh. Cool. Alright. Alright, so you need to die. 25% chance. Yeah, we'll leave our dude there for a little bit and see if he can get that up a bit. That's what she said. Man, that's a lot of money down the drain. Oh well, at least we're almost out of wars. That's good. Oh, that's France's war against Aquitaine. Yeah, 94%. It's almost done. Count Berto has died. No one cares about Count Berto. Count of Maine has accepted the call to help against what? Who are you at war with? Holy War, the Welsh Holy War for Galicia. Nice. Go Wales. They're coming down here for this shit. That's awesome. Alright, so France won their war against Aquitaine. That's fantastic. We're all very excited for them. She's not pregnant, is she? No. Good. Alright. Yeah, so the three boys and then this daughter would take over. So all we have to kill is four people. Him, and then three boys. Not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, what's our chances now? Still so crap. Alright, let's save up some money. Oh, poor King Canoni. He's got a little scar on his chin now. <laughs> Says he was stabbed in his side, but it looks like they stabbed him in the chin. <laughs> Lollard? Of course he's a heretic. Ugh. Where are you? Oh, you're that dude in Modena. Yeah. Well, he's there to convert the populace. They're... Oh, the... they're Catholic now. Didn't realize he was successful. Yes, they are definitely Catholic. So maybe, just maybe, he will convert this piece of trash into not being a Lollard. Because he's currently on Convert People, right? Yes. So, yeah. Maybe he'll get lucky and convert the guy. We want a lot of money, and I really don't want to give him any. So. Oh. Uh, well, who was, was it? This guy? Yes. yes. How much money would it take? Sixty-six dollars. That's actually not that bad. Branded as a heretic. All right. Sixty-six dollars for seventy-seven relation boost is not that bad. Hold that thought, because we got a revolt.
Getting some fast conversions down here. These three places are already Catholic. Yeah, 57% chance of converting that dude. Yeah, I'll just leave the, my dude there. It's a good chance. How's the Pope doing? Pope is okay with us. Well, hopefully he'll convert that guy and I can move him out of there. Ah, uh, 6,000 guys is probably enough. Just go. Doop, doop, doop. I'm sure he's a heretic. <laughs> I'll just piss him off even more. Come on, you gotta have a chance of converting him. What now? Just end your plot. Yeah, vassals are upset. They'll be happy in two seconds. Bingo, bammo, happy vassals. Go Swabia. Connacht is winning the war. Well, Swabia's close. And Finland's fallen behind a bit. Alright, well, we're at peace. That's good. Let's go ahead and spend some money. 25%. That's just not a very good chance. We need some more money. Let's wait until we have 1400 and then we'll try. Come on, dude, you have a 60% chance of converting this guy every year. Just convert him. Let's move on. Okay? Subject religion converted. Yeah, well, come on, do it. He is possessed. All right. How's the other subject doing? Oh, he's fine. You know what? Fuck it. Just go back to Rome. We'll uh, put you back on, please. Although you're probably too old to do that. Uh, yeah. French Holy War for Navarra. Hey. Oh, he's going to go for this chunk of Navarra, not all of it. Because Navarra also includes this province, but he's only going for those two counties. All right. Go France. It looks like Wales is making progress over here. Yeah. Kingdom of Wales. Good job. Good, good. Nine hundred bucks. Man, that's tempting. What's up, France? You want me to help you? I don't think I will, actually. Well, no, it is. It's just against those guys. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Oh, the old wound has healed. We're now scarred. So we're actually not as sick as we thought. We still have health negative one rather than negative two, but eh, whatever. We're scarred. Get some prestige out of it. I'm surprised we survived, really. Below zero. Ugh, what happened now? Bishop Augusto of Zuck. Blah, blah, blah. This place down here. This place. Why? Why are you worried about your succession laws? Oh, God. it's fine. I don't know why that's even popping up. This guy is the heir, so when he takes over, he's still going to be under my vassal. It's not a problem. Oh, two revolts. Of course. Of course. Yes, yes. Peasant revolts. Always a problem in the medieval world. Basically, all the lords would get up and they'd go, hmm, I wonder who will revolt today. They would discuss it over tea and crumpets.
We already fought a vassal in this place somehow. Didn't even realize that there was anything going on. Oh well. Wow, that's a lot of troops. That should be fine. Go ahead. And this should also be fine. Go ahead. Okay, you can stop screaming now. Stop screaming. Not pregnant, are you? No. Ooh, she's syph Ew, syphilitic and stressed. She's gonna die. Don't have to worry about her. All right, they're all dead. Stand down. Happy vassals are good vassals. Can we get away with killing one of the kids on the cheap, or are they still 350 bucks? Still expensive, never mind. Oh, one of the kids grew up. Is he married yet? Nope. We definitely have to kill him soon, though. Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Let's try a few. 24% chance. Ugh. Goodness. You're still in Yosima. After 100 years, Rania. All right. So this area of Poland is now considered part of Poland rather than part of some other de jure kingdom. All right, dude, it's time to die. Nothing personal. No. Oh. Come on. Damn it. Come on. Damn it. And they divulge my name. Great. Oh well. We failed 3 times in a row. I'm dying. <laughs> the veal was laced with poison. Oh, come on, who didn't see this coming? <laughs> Our intrigue is like crap. Our wife's intrigue is also crap. This was bound to happen. All right, let me do one thing before we... Uh... Actually, no, I'm okay with just dying like this. All right. A million deaths for King... Um, the silly thing is... Our king was incapable of doing any of this plotting. We were, not, we were not even able to click the plotting button, so there's no way we're, we're giving orders to assassinate people. This was being done by our regent. And that's our wife. So she's the one who's actually plotting and killing all these people. And now she just got her husband murdered. Man. Thank you, wife. Thank you so much. Alright. That's it. Poor King Canoni. Incapable King Canoni. Scarred. Strong. Fortune building. Ambitious King Canoni. Is now passed. So who takes over now? King Biagio. Fuck yeah. And he actually has room in his domain. Nice. Very nice. First things first. This wife of ours is the wrong ass religion. Whoa. Precinct her opinion of us by 13. Let's give her an honorary title. Damn. We gotta work on that though. 13. Oh, it's because our diplomacy is so bad. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. 27? You. 26? You. Well, I think our brother wants to be... No, he doesn't. He wants a fief. Alright, well, you're not going to get a fief. Ugh, 18. Well, actually, 18 is not terrible. Uh, yeah. Wait, you're not a Lollard, are you? No. Alright. Dude. Yeah. Feel better. It's all depressed or something. Oh, we already have an heir? Oh, that's right, he's a hunchback. <laughs> he's a hunchback and he's trusting. He's a little puppy. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. <laughs> but we are taking over at a nice age. 25. We're stressed, though. But we have some decent traits. Okay. Uh, can we get a better spy master? Probably. Actually, no. 19. Ugh. 27. We're not going to be 27. Okay. So there we have it. That was King Canoni. I I really wish we could have done better with him. He had a whole lot of potential taking over at his age, having his stats, having that great wife. Got some kids right off the bat. I think I was too focused on getting rid of Craven. Craven is a bad trait to have, but it's not the end of the world, you know. 
Uh, some good things, though. Our current king has a lot of good traits. The only one I don't like is Roth, and Roth is not even that bad. It does hurt his diplomacy, which kind of sucks. But since we're at peace, we can have some uh, county fairs and stuff like that, which will give us opportunities to increase our diplomacy skill. So it's not that bad. Not too worried about it. He is Midas Touch, so we're getting some nice bonuses to our stewardship. We already have a son. We're going to convert our wife as soon as possible. And hopefully high five her. Uh, oh my god, now she's actually getting old. I think the simplest choice here is just divorce the wife. We don't have enough piety. Oh ho! Well, so be it. I'm, actually, I'm not going to play a single day as uh, the new boy. What do we have for revolt status? Forenzi wants to revolt. Why, Forenzi? Oh, because we took him off as chancellor. I think this was our chancellor. <laughs> What's up? Nope, he wasn't fired from council. Oh, he's ambitious. Oh, uh, well. You're also 51, so you're going to die soon, so I don't care. Anyway, I think that's a great place to stop. We have our new king, King Biagio I. He's not really mourning his father. After, let's see, 45. He got hurt when he was about 35. So after about 10 years of being under his father, the moron, you kind of, you know, lose your... your, your your faith in him. You know you know he's not running the country at all. So you know he's not really being a good king. He's not really helping anyone or doing anything grand. He was trying to get his son into uh, a place of power. So maybe maybe Mr. Biagio here will continue that. Got kind of the double chin thing going on there. But other than that, he looks fine. Didn't realize his wife was that old. We're definitely going to have to divorce her. There's no point in converting her. We'll just divorce her when we hit 100 piety. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. That was it for King Canoni. It's all done. I'm really sad about that because he could have been a great, great king for us. Just didn't work out. Anyway, this is Shen from Shen Play signing off. You guys have a good day.